Kiara and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys what I've been doing to my hair because I've been getting so many DMs asking me, what are you using? What are you doing differently? Your hair looks so good. And I'm like, oh my God, thank you. So I'm gonna share that with you guys today, right now. So let's get right into this video. Before I start, I just wanna say I'm not a curl expert because I know some of you are gonna be like, you're doing this wrong, you're not supposed to apply it like this, you're not supposed to do this, you're not supposed to do that. Like, I know, I know. I just do what works for my hair and what I like because sharing with you guys what works for my hair might work for you or if you have like the same hair type, things like that. So yeah, I just wanted to get that out there. But some of you may know, I used to use the leave-in conditioner by Garnier and I still use it, but I'll explain that later on. But I remember in my past videos, I would ask you guys to suggest some hair products that are a little more natural and a little healthier for my hair. And a lot of you guys said Diva Curl. This was a while ago, but I finally had the chance to go to Ulta and pick up a little kit that had some Diva Curl products to see if I wanted to like get the full size and if I liked it. So I just got a little kit, I have the box here, like the product's already out of it, but like I'll show you. Um, this is what it came in, it just had uh, a shampoo, conditioner, leave-in conditioner, and a little gel. So I'm gonna show you guys that. But I originally wanted to do um, testing out these products, but I did film it so I can insert these clips, but I ended up liking it before I got to get the video up because just school got hectic and I couldn't upload it. So yeah, I actually ended up buying the full size of the leave-in conditioner and today I actually finished the whole bottle and I'm kind of sad and I need to go get another one, but yeah. So these are the products the kit brings. I think it was around $32 or $36. I don't remember, but I know I got it at Ulta. I'll see if I can find the link um, and I'll put it down below. But the first one is this Diva Curl No Poo Original Conditioning Cleanser. So this is a shampoo, but without the poo. I really don't know how I feel about this because I'm used to washing my hair and my hair foaming up and that's when I know when my head is clean and it makes like, you know, the big foam. And this not foaming up, it just kind of got me like, oh, is my head clean? Like I know it is, but how do I know? And I don't know how I feel about it. It smells really, really good though. So that's what I like about this. The next product is the conditioner. And I really, really like the conditioner. It detangles my hair beautifully. So it does work. I have very little left. I haven't used it since I got it, like after I tried it a couple times. Because I just use my normal shampoo conditioner. Maybe that does affect my curls. But I just still haven't gotten like a shampoo conditioner that's natural and doesn't have like all those chemicals in it that really work for my hair but these were really good the conditioner smells really good and so does the shampoo um, but yeah that's that that's all I can say about these um, next is the leave-in conditioner which I bought the full size guys I did this is the little one that the kit brings and I used it all up I really really like it like when I apply it it feels a little waxy my hair feels a little waxy but like it's fine like it holds the curls really nice and it smells like coconut and like very creamy and I don't know how to describe it but it smells really good the last product that the little kit brings is the diva curl light defining gel and it is just like a little gel and it's not it's like a creamy gel I don't know how to describe it. it's not sticky whatsoever and it doesn't make my hair crunchy so I really really love this product I still have some left because I don't use it often um, but I would definitely buy the full size. I know they have huge like packages of this one. Like this full size are like humongous. Like why can't the leave-in conditioner be that big? Like I just I need this in like a big tube because this is amazing and I love it. I do have some clips of when I first tried these products, and you guys obviously know I like it. But if you want to see my first impression, I'll insert the clip right now so you guys can see what I thought of it. I'm obsessed with this. Everything smells so, so good. Wow. Wow. Oh my god. It's like creamy. It's not even gel. It's so silky. Okay guys, so it's been two hours since I washed my hair and my curls look so good. They're really, really tight and like moisturized and they're not heavy whatsoever. And I just love the way it feels and it smells so good. I'm obsessed. So yeah, after that I became a little obsessed and I went and got the full size for the leave-in conditioner and it just has 
a pump. And on the side, you can see how much product you have. And this is $26. It's a little pricey for a leave-in conditioner and the amount of product it brings, which is really, really sad. I feel like you don't need a lot of product, but for my hair, it just, a little bit does not go a long way. Uh, there's a lot of hair. Like, it looks a little flat now, but there's just so much hair that one pump doesn't do it. And it just runs out really quickly. Like, it's been like, I don't even know, like this just ran out so quick and I have to go buy one. I actually finished it today, but yeah, I usually wash my hair with um, any shampoo conditioner I have at home and I know that kind of affects your curls and I should like probably buy shampoo conditioner for curly hair, but I just haven't found a good cheap one um, and yeah. So I just wash my hair and then when I get out the shower, I wrap my hair in a cotton t-shirt and just let it dry a little bit so it's not as wet. And then I go ahead and apply the leave-in conditioner. Something that I do differently than what I used to do is wrap my hair in a t-shirt instead of my towel and it does take away the frizz, like believe it or not, it does work. And I comb my hair back so I don't part my hair before I apply product, I just brush it all back and then when I get off the shower I'll brush it even more so like there's no part on my hair so I put the product in and I just kind of let it dry after I scrunch it and I don't have a like a part which I like so I can put it to the side or the middle or whatever I want it looks a little more natural so it's not like a straight line you know parting my hair I don't know I just like the way it looks so that's something I've been doing differently and the hair product, it literally, it feels a little waxy, but it literally makes my curls look so good. And in like the next two days, they'll still look fresh, which I like because I remember I went to school and people were like, oh, did you wash your hair this morning? I'm like, no, this is like second, third day hair. And people were like, oh wow, like what do you use? Like it, it stays perfect, like it does not move. And I think that's why it's more like a waxy hair product. It doesn't feel gross though, it's just, not as soft as the Garnier one that I used to use. So my curls look really, really healthy and they're definitely way curlier than before, as you guys can tell. And I just, I'm in love. What I love most about this product is that it's 100% silicone sulfate and paraben free. So it's definitely healthier for my curls than any other product I've ever tried. Because I used to use only the Garnier like leave-in conditioner since I was literally like six years old. So I kind of grew up using that hair product. And I finally found something that works way better and holds my curls and makes them curl so much. Like my curls have never been this bouncy and tight before and I, I freaking love it. That's what I've been using recently and no, this is not a sponsored video. I just genuinely like the product. Only thing I dislike is that it's $26 for very little bit of product. I wish like the bottles were a little bit bigger so it brings more hair product because some curly heads have a lot of hair, um, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it. But other than that, I really, really like the product, and I want every single like bottle of it. So yeah. As I mentioned before, I still use the Garnier leave-in conditioner, but that's because it's summer, and I'm gonna be going to the pool and the beach more often, and I don't want to waste my diva curl, like on my hair when like the next day I'll probably end up going in the pool and I'll just be wasting the hair product. So I just use the Garnier, it like works but it doesn't work as good as this. But yeah, that's all I wanted to say, that it does work and it's not as good for my hair, but it gets the job done. But that is it for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed, I feel like I've talked so much. Um, if you made it to the end, hey, you rock, you're the best. But that's what I've been doing to my hair that's made my hair definitely way more healthier and bouncier and literally amazing. Um, this is not a sponsored video, by the way, I forgot to mention that in the beginning of the video. I just generally like this product and this is what works for my hair. So if you guys try it out, let me know how it works for you because I want to know. And if you guys have other suggestions, also comment that down below because I'm definitely willing to try other things and if it's cheaper and brings more hair product even better um but yeah i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video Mwah.